Hi, this week we're talking about Mark 14, 43 to 51, so the arrest of Jesus. If you haven't read it yet, take a pause and uh, read it, and then we'll continue the video. All right, I really enjoy the synoptic gospel. Synoptic means, the synoptic, the word means to see together, and uh, the synoptics are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John is not a synoptic gospel, and the reason that those three are called synoptics is because they tend to parallel each other. They share a lot of verses. They share the, the basic narrative. Uh, in the synoptics gospel, though, that we have some differences, and Mark is the briefest of them, but it's always amazing to me what Mark puts in and Mark leaves out, and, and Matthew adds and Luke adds and leaves out and so on. And this is one of those passages where we have some very different things going on here that uh, yeah, you should be aware of. We have the arrest of Jesus. Jesus is up in the Mount of Olives, and the, the three boys have been falling asleep and haven't been able to stay awake. And the third time Jesus confronts them about it, the soldiers show up. And Well, it's a crowd is what it says here in Mark. No soldiers. It's a crowd that's been armed with essentially the, uh, the ogre kind of things, we, the ogre hunters. They're armed with their pitchforks and their, their rakes and their shovels and hoes or whatever it is. So they're, they're, they, they've got their, their gear. And uh, Judas comes up, kisses Jesus, identifies him to the crowd, says, hey, take this guy with him. And, uh, you know, that, that's in and of itself, it's the, the, uh, a kiss is a pretty standard greeting. This sort of like California mwah, mwah, kind of thing. Um, they, there's the greeting, and so it's a greeting of respect, of course, that ends up getting Jesus uh, arrested. But notice that in this passage, that uh, when he gets uh, arrested, that we have... This um, this immediate, uh, the, the one of those says, doesn't say who does it. Uh, we have another one, so we have uh, uh, Peter doing this. But they, they someone grabs a sword and they whack off the ear of the servant of the high priest. In other synoptics, there's this uh, immediate healing ceremony that goes on. Jesus heals this guy and sends him on his way, so to speak. That doesn't happen in Mark. Mark, for, for whatever reason, Mark doesn't find that to be all that important. He, he leaves out that detail, and instead, Jesus goes, and, hey, am I really a rebellion? Do, do you see me fighting? <laughs> Although we just cut off the guy's ear. Just interesting commentary there. Um, and, and Jesus points out that, hey, he'd been there available for uh, arrest or at least questioning, and they hadn't done anything. And so, you know, Jesus is sort of, I don't know if he's taunting them, but saying, you know, you had to wait until my crowd wasn't there. Yeah. Um, but then it says, of course, then we have the everyone deserts him. Jesus is arrested and the 12 and whoever else has happened to be up there that were followers of Jesus that says they all fled. And as they fled they apparently tried to catch them and uh, a young man it says wearing nothing but a linen garment who was following Jesus and they seized him he fled naked leaving his garment behind so they grabbed a hold of his robe and the guy slipped out of it and away he goes uh, the tradition is and scholars seem to sort of go along with this that, that was probably Mark uh, the actual writer of this uh, epistle that it's Mark who escapes because no one else mentions that detail, and uh, it's almost as if no one else knows about it. So who would know this intimate detail um, away from the limelight? Eh, probably the guy who wrote the story. So uh, there you are, just a, a little tidbit there. You know, in, in ways of discussion, this would be a great opportunity to talk about the differences between Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And, and what does it mean to have an eyewitness uh, testimony to to have conversation that's this that's um, this is what I saw, which is different from what the other guys saw. So uh, interesting conversation. I'll see you next week.